Good morning, people. I have gotten so many requests for a weekly meal prep video. And so I figured, why the heck not today? I have a wedding to be that I'm gonna be, I have a wedding I'm gonna be in in like three weeks, so I just feel like I should kind of crack down a little bit and stop eating so much mac and cheese, cause your girl loves mac and cheese. So I figured I would show you a couple of super easy recipes. Um, they're all relatively easy. Some take a little bit more time than others as far as prep time goes, but they're all super, super easy. They're foolproof uh, because as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not a great cook. That's cat. So I do super easy stuff that is anyone can do because I know some of you are in the same boat as me. And if you guys can cook great, good for you. I'm just kidding, I wanna learn. But for now, we're gonna stick to the easy stuff. So, I'm gonna show you a couple recipes. Let's go. One thing I do wanna say before we get started is all of these meals are super easy, but they're also super quick. I don't got time to spend hours on hours making food and wasting my day. So, uh, all of these are pretty quick uh, recipes. So it'll help save you time. You're gonna be in the kitchen for an hour, maybe two. Uh, so if you wake up early, go to the grocery store, you're gonna have everything done and have a good portion of your day left. And that is my goal today. So let's get cooking. So first thing on the menu are taco bowls. So here I am cooking my taco meat. But instead of beef, I use ground turkey. And also with turkey meat is you wanna try and cut your red meats down to like two or three times a week. And I love red meat. So where I can't taste a difference is where I'm gonna try and swap it out. And while the turkey meat, and while the turkey meat is cooking, <laughs> while the turkey meat is cooking, I'm going to start my next meal because like I said before, I don't wanna spend all day wasting my day away in the kitchen. Kitchen. Huh, the kitchen. Yeah, so I'm gonna start my next meal, which is gonna be spaghetti squash. Guys, this is like my first one, make breakfast with me video, where I'm like awkwardly bending over in the shot, and I don't, like, I don't know how people do this. Like, do you lift up the camera when you're talking and then put it back down when you're cutting? I just feel like I should just come down here and talk to you, and then you can watch me, you know? Okay. Okay. I don't think that I'm a pro and not forgetting to do shit. Ah! Oh my god. Like I said, I'm not that great at like multitasking. I'm gonna add the taco seasoning into the meat to make it taco meat. Uh -huh. I understand I'm really far away. I just don't want to reset up my camera. I don't know how these YouTubers do it. Like, this crap's a lot of work, you know? And I think I may have added too much water. Oh my. This is gonna be like the crepe video. Just turn it on. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna mix that up. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Oh my gosh. These are actually really hard to cut, so bear with me. I'm just being honest, because you have a warning. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why I picked this for my first meal prep. Because I like it, but it's hard to cut. <sighs> oh Lord, oh the knife is stuck, okay. Right. And the other way. Yeah. And you're just gonna rotate, okay. All right. Rotate, rotate. It smells like a pumpkin. Just FYI, not that that matters. Okay. Good enough. Ooh. Yep. 
So then you're just gonna scrape the guts out. That sounds gross. Scrape the seeds and this stuff out like you're carving a pumpkin. Oh! Did you guys hear that? I just spilt seeds everywhere. I don't know why I thought I could do this as a YouTube channel. I'm not meant for this cutesy stuff. So, once we do that, the olive oil spray, same thing. All it contains is olive oil. So, uh, you just wanna do that so it kind of, it cooks and bronzes a little bit. Yep, squared in my whole hand, but that's fine. I don't know. I don't know why I thought I could do this as a YouTube channel. Like, healthy cooking, fitness, like, I know what I'm doing. I'm just a mess while I do it. So, hey, you gotta leave it, okay? Then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt, pepper. I like to add a little bit of garlic powder on there just for a little bit of flavor. That looks pretty good, am I right? Am I right? So then you're gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna put it in at, check it at 25 minutes just to make sure it's not burnt. But you're gonna put them in upside down, so. Like that. And while that is cooking, you guessed it, we're gonna do another meal. I realized I got out another pot. I don't know why, I don't need that. Oh, yeah I do, <laughs> Never mind. If you guys could see my kitchen right now, I would die, cause it's messy. So, what you missed while I was gone is I put another pound of turkey meat on the stove. It's for taco meat, uh, for our taco bowls. And this other one is for our spaghetti squash because we're gonna do the spaghetti squash with taco meat and marinara. So I got that cooking. And then third meal is gonna be chicken. So uh, meal number three, let's go. Here's what we're looking at. This is breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. And then this is, I don't know if you can see that. It's all. That's the olive oil and the uh, Italian seasoning. So we're just gonna dip the chicken in the olive oil, and then you're gonna switch it, and that olive, that olive oil mixture is what's gonna get the, uh, the breadcrumbs and cheese to stick. And that's kinda what you're looking at afterwards. Move on to the next chicken boob. Dippa dippa, dippa dippa. And then I don't have a whole lot of breadcrumbs and um, cheese left, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top of the chicken breast that I laid on the pan, just for some extra crunch. This is a really awkward angle, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll be right back. So this is what we're working with. Spaghetti squash down here, chicken breast up top. You're gonna cook the chicken breast for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe, on 400 spaghetti squash, 400 for my taco bowls. This has like saved my life. I got these at um, Walmart. They're like those little to-go cups. I don't have very many of these left, so I'm gonna put like the cheese and stuff in here, but I'm gonna measure it in this first. So for avocados, I don't suggest cutting them up until uh, you are ready to eat them just cause they get kind of gross. So I'm gonna hold off on these, but I do put these in my bowl. Uh, I do half an avocado and then I just do like a handful of tomatoes. So, I said I do plain Greek yogurt as uh, as a replacement for sour cream. They have like, you know how Daisy has the squeezable sour cream? Well, the brand is called Chobani. They have a squeezable Greek yogurt now. So it's just like, you can just put it on top. So I used to fill up my, my sour creams. I would buy these and just fill up my little containers. Um, but it's just so much easier with the squeezable one. If you guys wanna do this, if that's a better option for you guys and just scoop it in there, go for it. If not, super, super easy, squeezable, just like the daisy kind. But one thing I found is I hate having to find different size Tupperware and I got them at Walmart. They were 10 bucks and they're all the same size. Super, super easy. So uh, Walmart, $10. I do about a fourth cup rice and then a half cup of meat. We have our cheese, corn, salsa, meat, rice. And so it's all prepped, pretty, ready to go. Now that the chicken is done, you see how crispy, like the Parmesan cheese on top just makes it so crispy and uh, it's really, really good and you feel like you're still eating something 
like not as healthy and tasty, but it really is. Then here is the spaghetti squash. How you know if it's done, it's just gonna come off into pieces and kind of look like spaghetti. These are done. This is done. So now it just needs to cool. I don't know why I'm waving my freaking fork around, but let it cool and package it. And here we have it. We have all the sides separate, ready to go. We're just gonna pack them up. The chicken looks very bare, I know. What I do is, I just wanna show you guys some options. Uh, veggies, this pasta, it's um, made of lentils, so it's made of veggies, which is awesome. Uh, so I'll probably do this and then kind of split it out throughout the, the couple days, but this, or you can do some potatoes. These ones are red potatoes with butter sauce. So I have spaghetti squash, turkey meat with um, Italian seasoning, and then marinara sauce. And I did a fourth cup marinara sauce. Now we have nine meals, and this will cover me for my work week for now. Um, these are my lunches, this is my dinner. These are uh, lunch, lunch, I'm gonna alternate each day, dinner, whatever you wanna do, you can switch these all around, but that gives me three meals to kind of work with throughout the day for lunch and dinner. And then for breakfast, I really, really like this. Uh, it's I like oatmeal and I mean there's like no sugar in it it just it's a really good option I just do like a handful of blueberries in with some oatmeal um, and uh, so breakfast lunch dinner good to go okay so let's just do a quick recap because we all know that was a bit of a shit show we made Spaghetti squash with, obviously spaghetti squash, turkey meat with seasoning in it, and marinara sauce. Meal number one. Meal number two, we did taco bowls. And the taco bowls was turkey taco meat with some white rice, you know, corn, salsa, sour cream, Greek yogurt. You know, all the toppings, avocado, tomato, all of that. And last, we made that chicken parmesan. And if you want, you can add marinara sauce to that. Uh, I meant to mention that. And that's our three meals. I think we've all come to the conclusion that I'm not a good, like, cutesy meal prep with me. This is fun. Uh, like I said, I know what I'm doing. I just am not, like, very good doing it, like, showing you. But we get the job done, you know? Am I right? Hopefully you had fun watching this and even though I was a little bit of a goof and not super professional, that you guys still learn something and try these. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. If you ain't already, like the video, go watch my other videos. That is going to do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely, healthy, what the hell, that was stupid. Have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you 